Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I am Joe Tige coming to you on a choppy week for the markets. S&P 500 now today down 80 basis points had a nice recovery yesterday. Sell off on Monday. Uh, the sell off really kind of begun a uh, mini sell off, if you will. Uh, on the Fed meeting, uh, didn't really get uh, enough dovishness maybe. A lot of the comments coming out of the Fed were saying uh, we needed this fiscal stimulus. We needed Congress to step up and provide some stimulus. Uh, the Congress since then has become otherwise preoccupied. Nobody is expecting that stimulus to happen. Uh, really, they were doubtful before uh, the Supreme Court fight. They were, uh, Congress is not really going to be looking at stimulus anytime soon. Maybe we'll see something in January, in February, but right now we're on our own, and I think the market is cautious right here. Certainly, tech had been benefiting from this stimulus. Uh, they were uh, able to borrow at low rates. Uh, they're doing well in the stay-at-home trade. Uh, however, uh, they are lagging right now, and I think that uh, is a caution side for the market. Uh, if, we, if, we see, uh, if we see lower lows from Monday, uh, I will be very cautious myself. Now that said, uh, looking at the big picture, the VIX up today, up uh, 27 and a half, give or take. Um, you know, that's medium range lately. It's on uh, low into the range for 2020, very high historically. Obviously, October, uh, we're coming into that next week, uh, most volatile month of the year. Will we see an October surprise? Uh, I think the way 2020 has gone, I'd be surprised if we didn't see a surprise. Uh, and then also November, the election. So there's a lot of people are, are uh, looking at volatility-wise. And those futures are priced accordingly. 31.5 in the October, 32.5 in the November. People are betting on a return to the 30s for the VIX. For Equity Armor Investments, I am Joe Teague.